What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you another Madden 13 video. This is another little intro video uh, gameplay, will be coming soon. Uh, but we're going to be starting up my franchise, the uh, coach-connected career, I guess you should say. Uh, I don't know if I should call it franchise or coach-connected career, I'll probably just call it coach career or whatever. Uh, so we're going to start a new career, and I'm not going to be doing this just yet. This is just a little intro video, uh, just to get your guys' opinion on everything. So it's going to be another offline one. I'm not going to be showing any like YouTube connected careers or anything like that. Uh, maybe in the future, but not now, not for a while. And the team I'm going to be using is, uh, here we're just going to take a look. You guys probably already saw the player one from my other video. You can do coach, you got creative coach, active coach, and NFL legend. And right off the bat, the legends I have, um, well, I don't have any, but you got uh, Bill Walsh, Dick Vermeil. Joe Gibbs, John Madden, who I really want to use John Madden, and I am a... Uh... What? What? How to unlock? Oh, he automatically unlocks in late September, so I guess all the pre-orders unlock automatically. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to use John Madden. I'm pre-ordering from GameStop, so that'd be pretty cool to use. Um, but a couple questions. Should I use John Madden for the team I pick? Uh, you got Tom Flores, Tom Landry, Vince Lombardi, which would also be really, really cool. Uh, should I use a legend coach, which I probably shouldn't because it would be a little cheap. Uh, should I use the active coach or should I use my game face? I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it would look like for my game face. Once again, you get to see my face and the game. So there I am in a uniform, even though I'm going to be a coach. And originally I was going to be doing it with the Jaguars, but then I got thinking. I was like, you know... They already have an elite running back. Their wide receiver core is actually decent, you know, not really great, but decent. Um, so I want a bit more of a challenge, and the Jaguars division is not amazing. The Colts are pretty bad now. Jaguars are pretty bad. Texans are good, their playoff team, and the Titans are about average, above average, I would say. Um, and when I was editing down my Seahawks video, I saw the Dolphins, and I was like, wow, the Dolphins would be really cool. I love their uniforms. They got Reggie Bush, who gets injured a lot, so that should be fun to manage that. Uh, they've got a big question mark at rookie. I mean, not, not rookie, at quarterback. And they just got rid of Brandon Marshall, so their wide receivers are not very good. Devon Best is their best one, and he's probably like a 78 overall. And their tight ends aren't amazing either, and I don't think their defense is amazing. Uh, to go with that. So we're going to be using the Dolphins, the Miami Dolphins. Now what should I pick? A motivator? Uh, easier to lure players to your team and keep them? Uh, strategist? Thinking of new ways to progress your players and own abilities? Or a team builder? Part scout, part GM, and excel at finding the right pieces. I should probably do team builder, uh, but it will be up to you guys. Um, this is what I look like as a coach. It look, actually looks really funny. Um, <laughs> but we're going to keep it. Uh, we're also going to name him Brett Frost, just like my quarterback, um, just because it's the name I use for everything. If you guys would prefer it to be something else, please tell me. If you don't want my quarterback and my coach to have the same name. Body type, small. Should I go with a polo? A vest? I'll probably just go with the polo because everything else does not even look that great. So go with the polo. So your choices are... Should I use the Dolphins current coach? Um, my game face as the coach, right? which I think would be pretty fun. Um, or should I use a legend coach, which I kind of don't want to do. Uh, offensive styles, defensive styles, that's fine. I'm just going to leave that at default. And I'll probably be doing 10 minutes on all Madden. Uh, eventually I'll find a good slider set, but I think for the first season I'll just play strictly on all Madden. Uh, and see how that goes and accelerated clock on to 20 that's how I had it in my Seahawks game speed slow uh, player progression I'm all I'm going to put this on every four weeks again because I don't like every week just because if you know if they have a hot week they'll be good the next day which would actually kind of make sense but uh, you know what how about you vote on this should I do weekly or every four weeks um, I already have my my player on every four weeks um, but for now we'll just leave it at weekly coach firing on gameplay tuning on injury on pre-existing injuries off um, and this really doesn't matter because we're not starting this for real this is just a little preview I'm going to wait until 
the opening day rosters come out when the teams make their cuts to trim their um, roster down to the correct size and there we go I am a top story there I look kind of funny but uh, it looks pretty nice I'm, I'm loving the uh, the game face in this game I love how they included that um, we'll take a look at my goals I have to get eight wins this season I think that is that really my only goal well, I'll see if more show up when I start the season. Uh, we'll just take a quick preview of my team. You know, this roster is not going to be the same one that I'm going to be using. Um, since this is like the week three preseason one. Uh, but yeah, it's just my only goal is eight season win wins. Oh, actually, if I go into it, there's more. How about season goals? Um, oh, zero plus season wins, three plus. Okay. So the hardest one would be eight season wins. All right, so it's just tiers. You don't get different goals every year, I'm guessing. I'll just go scroll through these real quick. Go undefeated, 10,000 experience. Hopefully that won't happen, especially with the Dolphins. And I plan on getting a ton of seasons done, like multiple seasons. I want to do six. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but just taking a quick look at my team, we'll just go over to strategy, depth chart. Okay, it's, I swore it was there. No, it's personnel. I'm an idiot. Okay, depth chart. Uh, we got David Garrard, Matt Moore, Ryan Tannehill. I, I know I say his name wrong. Um, I'm not sure who is going to be starting for us. Probably Matt Moore. I don't even know. Like Maybe David Garrard will start. I don't know. We'll figure that out. And we got Pat Devlin. Then looking over at the running backs, we got Reggie Bush. Steve Slayton is a 79. How? When did that happen? Did he really have a good season last year? I thought he was like injury prone and fumble prone. And what is Daniel Thomas really that bad? Lamar Miller, the rookie. That's just weird how Steve Slayton's a 79 and Reggie Bush is a 92. I feel there's no way this is right. Reggie Bush is really a 92. All right. Um, it's a little funny, but uh, going over to the, the fullback, we don't really have a good fullback. I don't know if he's this guy's real or fake. We need another fullback. We got Legend of Nene. Devon Bess is only a 75. Wow. Our wide receivers are pretty bad. Brian Hartline, Clyde Gates, Roberto Wallace, Marlon Moore. So we definitely need an upgrade there. Anthony Fasano at tight end. Charles Clay. Uh, offensive lineman. We got Jake Long, one of the best left tackles in the game, if not the best. Richie Incognito at left guard. Mike Pouncey, the sophomore center at a 79 overall. Nate Garnier at a 74 overall. Jonathan Martin, the rookie at right tackle, 71 overall. Cameron Wake, 92 overall. Probably the best guy on our team. Uh, did I skip? Oh, wow. That's weird. It's left end defensive tackle, right end. It used to be left end, right end defensive tackle. All right. Randy Starks and Paul Solai in at defensive tackle. I'll probably pronounce his name wrong. Jared Audrick at 76 overall at the left end. Kevin Burnett at 83 overall at the right outside linebacker. Carlos Dansby at 92 overall at middle linebacker. Another great guy on our team. Kawhi Misi. Koa Misi. I can't pronounce his name. I got to learn to pronounce these guys' names at right outside linebacker. We got Vontae Davis and Sean Smith at, at quarterback, as well as Richard Marshall. Uh, quarterback core is actually pretty decent there. It's looking good. Full safety. Free safety. Why do I keep saying full safety? We got Chris Clemens there at 95 overall. Strong safety. We got Rashard Jones there at 78 overall. Kicker. We got Dan Carpenter, the former Cowboy. I swear he's a former Cowboy. And I need to double check this. But there is no player card, which is kind of weird. Maybe that's only a managed roster. And then Brandon Fields there and that punter. Uh, so that's the team we're going to be using. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be final. This isn't the final rosters. Um, but just let me know what kind of coach you want me to do and uh, what the progression should be and if you're excited for me using the Dolphins. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching and 